Hey guys, it's Alex from Everything for iPod, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool Facebook hack, trick, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be showing you two of these, and it might be a little bit of a long video, so just hang in there. You can feel free, fast forward, rewind, do whatever you want to do. Now, obviously, I'm not doing this on my real Facebook account. I just made one real fast, um, so there's not much on here, so whatever. But we're only going to need a few things. So, on a Facebook profile, you'll notice that you'll have um, this first profile picture on the left, which is your main picture. It's what people see when they see you. Uh, and then you have five pictures going across the top of the screen. And those are going to be the five most recent pictures that you were tagged in. So, the first trick I'm going to be showing you is how to make a banner out of those top five images that can say your name or it can be a picture of you or whatever. And then the second trick I'm going to be showing you is how to make one picture out of your profile picture, which will be a long narrow picture, plus these five tagged photos put together so it'll look really cool and your friends will be like, well, how'd you do that? So let's get into it. Um, so what you're going to need is Photoshop to do the first one and then just an internet browser and a picture to do the second one. So what you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop and this is a banner I already could created. It just says everything for iPod and that's pretty much it. So it's pretty simple. Oops. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over to your layers box and you want to make sure that all of your layers are merged together. So I have more than one layer over here. So I'm going to simply select all the layers by uh, clicking the bottom or top one, holding shift and clicking the other one. You're going to right click on it and you're going to click merge layers and make it one layer. So now you have one layer. So once you've done that, you want to go, you're going to want to go into view, new guide, and you're going to want to make a uh, some guides to split up your picture evenly. So you're going to want to make the orientation, you're going to set it to vertical, and the first guide you're going to make is put the position at 20% and click OK. You're going to do the same thing a few times and you're going to put a guide every 20%. So the next one would be 40%, The next one would be 60%, and the last one is 80%. That'll split your picture up into five even parts that we're going to be able to upload. So now you're going to make sure that your layer is selected, and you're going to go into your rectangular tool and just select the area of the first portion and you'll notice that it'll snap to the first guide. So we're gonna go to layer, new, layer via cut, and we're just gonna keep doing this. So the next, we're gonna make sure our uh, base layer is selected, and we're gonna do the same thing for the second portion of this, and keep doing it, layer, new, layer via cut, now we're going to do it for the third portion. And remember that every time you want to make sure that your layer is selected, otherwise this won't work. Okay, and we have one more to go. Select it. Okay, so now we you'll see we have layer one through five um, cut into different parts. The layer we had before is actually now just transparent. You can actually um, delete the layer. We don't need it. We don't need it anymore. So now we just have these five layers, um, basically that are just each part of what the banner is going to be. So now we're going to um, go 
and we're going to select all of them again by clicking on the bottom one and going shift and clicking the top one. And once we've done that, we're going to go into layer. We're going to go to new layer base slices right here. And it'll create slices for all the layers. So now we're going to go to file. We're going to go to save for web and devices. Going to go and hit save. And make sure that images only is selected and all slices is selected. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop right here. And it'll save. Okay, so it made this images folder right here, and it has every picture uh, split, all the pictures split up. So it has the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So it split up all the pictures for us. So we're going to take that images, oops, we're going to take the images folder, leave it on our desktop, and now we're going to head over to Facebook, go to your photos, and we're going to upload some photos. Select the photos, and we're just going to go to our desktop. We're going to go to the images folder, and just select all the images to upload. Click open. Doesn't really matter what you do, just create album or whatever. And it shouldn't take too long to upload the photos. Okay, once they're in here, um, we're just going to go ahead and hit skip and save changes. And now's the really important part. They appear in a certain order, so there's this, even, it doesn't, even though it doesn't matter which order you upload them in, it does matter which order you tag them in. Alright, you're going to go to the last photo of yourself, you're going to tag yourself in it, like that, hit done tagging, and go back to your profile, and you'll see that it showed up there, but we still have the other ones to do. So we're just going to keep going back to the album where our pictures are, go to the second to last one, go to tag photo, tag yourself, hit done tagging. Go to the third to last one, tag photo, tag yourself, done tagging. Third, I mean the second to last, the third to last, I think. Whatever, the second to the first, second picture in the banner. I don't know, I'm confusing you, but you know, just go in order. Tag it. It's really simple to do, you just tag yourself backwards. Hope you've caught on by now. And you'll see now on my banner I have, on my uh, profile I have an everything for iPod banner. You do have those little white splices, there's nothing you can do about that, that's what Facebook does, but that's it. So that's the first um, trick, hack, whatever. Now I'm going to show you how to make one continuous image out of your um, profile picture and the banner pictures. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your you're going to go to this website called FB for Facebook crop.com and you're going to click this choose file right here is the file and click the submit button. And now what it says is move and resize the window around your image until you are satisfied with the positioning. So you just drag this around um, to get it. It's probably not the best demonstration of this, but it'll do. And these two, two bio lines or whatever, no bio lines. Uh, set that, that's going to be different for everybody. So mine's actually one bio line. So once you're done that, just proceed to step three once you have it like how you want it.
So you just drag that window around. Okay, and now you have the upload to Facebook option, show us the friends to tag. I don't really like to upload to Facebook. I don't really like giving my like access to my Facebook uh, all over. So I usually download the files manually as a zip file. You can do whatever you want, but um, I don't know. I just like to do that. You get a folder when you download it with your left window, which will be your profile picture, and then small window one, two, three, four, and five. So let's put this on our profile now. What you do is you go to photos and you actually change your profile picture, choose the file, go into all images, and it'll be left window choose. Okay, so now you'll see that's my profile picture, and now we're going to go back to our photos, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Upload Photos, Select Photos, sorry here, my computer is being a little laggy, um, All Images, and just choose all the other ones. Alright, now, while this is uploading, um, I already showed you how to do it with this, the banner, but you just go in and tag yourself backwards in it, just to save time in the video, I'm gonna do it, I don't want this video to get too long, because it already is really long, um, a lot longer than they normally are, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, do it, and then turn the camera back on when I'm done tagging it, and show you what the finished product looks like. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I finished tagging them. This is what it looks like at the end. It's a combined picture of your profile picture and your uh, photos at the top. That's it. Um, and if somebody tags you in a photo, it will mess it up. So the only um, like solution to that is to go into your Facebook wall when like you get tagged in a photo. And you just click the little X. And it'll say, are you sure you want to hide this photo? And it doesn't untag you in the photo, but um, it won't show in your little bar up top. So I like to do that. Um, you know, I do that on my Facebook. And it works really well. So there's the Facebook hacks, guys. Comment, um, like this video, and subscribe. I hope you like it. liked it. Uh, sorry for the length of the video, but, you know, it's kind of a confusing process. So that's it. See you later.